Okay, if you don't want to use Salesforce or HubSpot because it's too complicated or maybe it's too expensive, maybe you're a founder, maybe you're a startup, you don't want to invest in these tools, you could do this very easily using Notion. So I'm personally an account executive. I've been in this space for about five years. And of course, based on the experience, there's a very nice flow that I like to follow. And I actually took that, put it inside of Notion, designed a beautiful, intuitive, and functional template so that anyone could use it. And so without further ado, I'd love to show you what I built so that you could also use it for your own deal flows. So as an account executive, the first thing that I wanna do is understand what is currently my pipeline, right? So I have on the left side, a whole understanding of what is the current status of my pipeline from discovery until contracts and negotiations. You could see here, you know, discovery, business case, POC, infosex, contracts and negotiations. It's a very nice way to go ahead and keep track of that. What exactly is going on? Very good understanding. Then I have the opportunities opened. So obviously they're based on the same, but there are different quantifiers. So whereas this is more the, the value amount, this is more the quantity, how much I have in terms of the opportunities opened. And then we have the closed one. So closed one, $2.7 million, and we'll be able to go ahead and get started from there. So again, this is how I start my day. I see this you know, overview, and then we could actually start cooking. So as we go inside of the table itself to manage everything, you'll be able to see a couple of things. So now you can see that I've grouped everything according to its relevant stage. Every single company will have different terminology and that's completely fine. You could definitely update that the way you want it. Uh, but the idea is that you want to start from the top, which is the most important and then go down to the least important. But of course, discovery is the most important, but we'll see exactly, you know, where it goes from there. So I like to keep this closed because obviously it's closed one closed loss. It's completely at the bottom. It's hidden. I don't want to have it inside of my pipeline. Obviously the most urgent is the contracts negotiations, then the infosec, the POC, the business case, and then the discovery. And here you're going to start managing the entire pipeline from beginning to end. But just to give you an example of what I did, for example, with monday.com, when you open an opportunity, I personally like to have the logo so that you know, it's an, it's just a nice, you know, it's just a nice way for me to, to have it there. It's not necessary. You don't need to, there's the icon itself that every single opportunity has cash money. And then we'll go with the actual opportunity name. And the opportunity name for me is always based on three things. What is the account name? So here it's money.com, the department and the type of business. Is it a new logo? Is it a renewal? Is it a cross sell upsell? You decide. Now, what I liked about this template that I built is that you could have an AI summary and AI next steps based on the information that you put directly inside of Notion. You don't need Salesforce. You don't need HubSpot and also the upsell, upsold versions of those. So here it understood automatically. I didn't have to do anything and you could update your boss just by going ahead and copying this, sending it on Slack and then going from there. But the idea is that you have a nice understanding of all the fields. So priority, stage, value, last touched, the formulas that we have involved. Some of them are visible in the main view. Some of them are visible only once you go inside of the page itself. But let's go ahead and, and just show you what I've done. So the number ID is what number opportunity is this, right? And this will be done automatically. Then we have the meeting status. So are you waiting for it? Is it in progress as in pending? Is it booked or do you not have any meetings and you don't need to? We talked about the opportunity name. We have the probability, right? So what is the probability of success that you will close this deal? The priority, if it's low, medium, high, you decide the value of the contract when it was last touched. This means that when you last spoke to the client, whether it's via email, LinkedIn, by phone, zoom, whatever it is. Then we have the close date when you're expecting to close the contract, who is the owner of the opportunity and then a formula. And the formula is just a nice way for me to keep track of everything in terms of when to follow up, right? So here, for example, I put if date between now, so today is obviously April 3rd. The last time I touched monday.com was on April on March 30th. And if it's anything above three days, then we will have a notification to follow up. 
right? And by the way, we could create amazing things. For example, if you're a manager, you could create a notion button that if, for example, you want to keep track of this opportunity, you could click the button inside of notion, send a notification directly in Slack and ping the AE so that you understand exactly what's going on. Again, we're not going to focus on this right now because it's very complicated or, you know, it's, it's more complicated than this video. The whole point of this is to give you a very simple dashboard and, and workflow for as an account executive. So now that we have everything covered in terms of the main view, once we go inside of, of, of the individual view, we'll be able to see exactly what we have added. So you could add the Salesforce or HubSpot link, for example, to track the opportunity to the Salesforce or HubSpot. If you have any files, media, contracts, POC agreements, NDAs, DPAs, uh, quotes, whatever you want to add inside of Notion, you could definitely do that by adding the file. You could go ahead and add also the logo. I personally have the deal age, you know, just to understand what is the, the current uh, age of, of the opportunity, how, how new it is. Again, this is just a, an example that I've built. And then we have the entire timeline and history in terms of the action items, the updates, the meetings that we had based on the, on the timeline that we set out to do. So everything is very organized inside of Notion, right? And this is personally why I like it. So not only are we able to create a wonderful CRM, but also be very practical, right? So let's go ahead and just do an example right now, right? So let's do Salonis. Let's do R&D as the department and then new logo, okay? So once we have a new opportunity, what do we do? I personally like to add the icon. This is the cash dollar sign. Let's put it at medium based on the discovery call that I had. Let's say it was $50,000. The last time I touched them was on Monday. Again, this is just an example. Salesforce link, you could put it. Files and media, you could also do that. Let's do the close date to be September 30th based on what they said in the discovery. Obviously, I'm the owner. And now we're going to start actually doing the, the work for this opportunity offline, right? So this is the strategic work to get everything organized. So let's say, for example, Monday you had the call. So you do introduction plus discovery um, demo timeline budgets and everything else you need to confirm that this is qualified, right? Today you have tools like Gong or Otter or Crisp who just give you a nice AI summary and you could just copy and paste that. That's what I do. I mean, this is just an example, but this is what I do. Then you could have, for example, action items. Right, so to-do list, right? So send DPA or send quote, right? Or book, you know, business case meeting or set up POC call, right? Th there's so many things that you could do here that are very nice. And then you could also, for example, tag someone that's, you know, directly related to your team, right? So you could have a very collaborative approach directly inside of Notion for the same opportunity. Right. So let's say you're not the only person, right? An account executive usually will have SDRs, will have, you know, customer success, will have solution engineers, solution architects, whoever they may be. And you could collaborate directly inside of Notion in a very nice way. Again, you don't really need Salesforce. You don't really need HubSpot. Of course, we still need them and I will always recommend it. But the whole idea is that we could use it at a very cheap way by using this template and you could get started with it, right? You don't, you don't need to be fancy. You don't need to have the top Salesforce license. No, nope. everything is very nicely organized and it's practical, right? So this template, as I mentioned before, is based on the Notion AI. You don't need the Notion AI in order to do that. You could just delete it. Personally, I love it. Why? Because whatever context I have on this page, Notion AI will just give me a nice summary of this entire page and also the next steps. The next steps is a custom prompt that I created for Notion. So whatever I need to do, it will be updated on these fields and we'll be able to go ahead and just send it to our managers. But let's say for example, we have an update, right? So we followed up with client and we booked meeting for next Thursday. Okay, so now we have on the calendar, next Thursday, we have a meeting, right? So again, very nice way to, you know, to get organized. You could go ahead and even change the last touch date if you want. So let's go ahead and ask Notion AI to do some really cool things. So I have, for example, a nice prompt that I had. 
help me prepare for my call next week to discuss a POC with an enterprise client. What should I do? Right? So the next call that we have next week will be a POC call, right? So what are the action items do I need to do? What are some of the key points I'd like to get covered? The materials, the people that I need involved, etc. And you could just check them off until you actually meet them last next week, or you could do it as you go next week to the call, right? So again, this is where I like to cook. This is where I like to manage everything about an opportunity. If you need to update something inside the Salesforce, just take the notion AI, the next steps, right? Uh, you could go ahead and manually update it, or you could just wait for the notion AI to do it by itself, right? Again, the whole idea is that you have a very nice template to make sure that you're on top of your game, no matter where you are. So I'm actually going to be publishing this inside of the notion marketplace for you guys to download it, to use it. You could customize it exactly how you want it and then, and then go from there, right? If you have any questions or any requests or comments, if you need help to create any type of custom dashboards for sales, please let me know, hit me up on LinkedIn or email. I'd be happy to go ahead and, and help you out with that. You could leave a review inside of the Notion Marketplace. That would be absolutely amazing. And I look forward to seeing you next time.